Welcome to Movie Read Views. I'm Cody Reed. This review's for Minions. It's the Despicable Me spin-off movie starring those same Minion voices and this time it's directed by Kyle Balda and Pierre Coffin and it also stars the voices of Sandra Bullock and John Hamm. I mentioned it's a spin-off movie from the Despicable Me franchise. It's actually a prequel to those movies and it talks about, you know, the origins of the Minions, how they always wanted to serve these evil masters and, you know, they go through time and they're looking for new villains to serve and be those henchmen too. And uh, this movie, it really focuses on three minions who, you know, all these minions are getting in a rut. They don't have any evil master to serve. So three minions, Stuart, Kevin, and Bob, go out to find a new minion. And it's about, you know, 40 years or so before the Despicable Me movies take place. And then they come across Scarlet Overkill and her husband, Herb, who it's like this evil duo, but Scarlet Overkill's really the evil person. And they want to steal the Queen of England's crown. Now, if you've seen some of the trailers they put out, Unfortunately, it spoils about two-thirds of the movie, it seems like. Like, the last third of the movie was some new stuff that I didn't really see much of. But I saw a couple of the trailers they put out. They had some narration saying, like, Oh, the minions have always been around, and they serve these masters, and then they're going to find this new person. And, and then it shows some of those scenes. That's pretty much two-thirds of the movie, which I was kind of disappointed with. And believe me, I love the Minion characters, they're great in the Despicable Me movies, but that's because those movies have great lead characters. You know, you have Gru, you have the three girls, and those are great characters, and so the Minions are great side characters, and they have great humor, great personality, and they can use that to build up those lead characters. But now in this movie, I mean, they're the main characters, of course, in the Minions movie, but all the other characters, like Scarlet Overkill and Herb, which wasn't too bad, but both of them, as well as the other characters, were just like, okay. And so now that you have the minions as the, you know, the main characters in the movie, you have all these side characters that were just like, kind of like, blah. Especially with the trailer spoiling some of those moments, and the funny moments especially. It just kind of was disappointing, in my opinion. When the minions are front and center, they are still pretty funny. They do have some moments, especially, you know, hearing their gibberish. And it's basically like Spanish, Italian, and Latin, you know, some of those older languages all mixed. Because they'll say stuff like, la cucaracha, and piñata, and la papaya, banana. And so, like, it's like English as well as some other languages. And if you listen close, you can kind of hear some of that, and it is pretty funny. You know, as well as they have some, like, 60s references, because that's when this movie takes place. And so whether it's, like, the Beatles or some other, like, music and characters from back in the day. So watching all those were pretty funny. But like I mentioned, the story and the characters just weren't there compared to the main Despicable Me movies. And you didn't have a great story, especially when you have these characters that just speak gibberish. That could only last so long before I kind of got, like, bored and wanting some more from the characters and the plot itself. If you're on the fence about this one, kids will probably really like this just because it's like goofy and silly and it's kind of more aimed towards kids. Some adults will still like it. It was just in my opinion, it kind of disappointed me. So maybe just don't watch the trailers. But also, you know, if you thought the Minions characters were just kind of like, man, you kind of got sick of them after a while in the main movies, you probably just want to skip this one. My personal rating, two and a half out of five stars. Just like right in the middle, I thought it was kind of like okay and average. Like I mentioned, there were still some funny moments, the minions were still pretty good, but the story and the characters just weren't there compared to the main movies. And don't watch the trailers because that'll give away some of the moments, but it just kind of ended up being like okay for me. So tell me what you thought. I would love to hear your thoughts on this movie, especially, you know, if you really liked it or maybe you didn't like it as much as I did. You, you hated it. So, you know, make sure to leave some comments. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then also, leave, send me some emails at moviereadviews at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. with the minions all they do is speak gibberish what's with the uh and the man and papaya and banana i don't get it kramer do you get it i only give this movie six out of ten laughs and this movie focuses on the minions finding starlet and this one focuses on the minions finding scarlet overkill and her husband herb who want to steal the king's and this one focuses on... Uh.